In this video, we are going to be looking at balance budget multiplier. By balance budget multiplier, we are looking at the effect uh, of injection in an economy by the amount of withdrawal from that economy. That is, what is going to happen to national income if government injects some amount of money and also withdraw that particular amount of money from the economy in the name of tax. That is, if government spend hundred dollar, you know. He injects hundred dollar into the hundred dollar into the economy and takes away hundred dollar at the same time in the name of tax from the economy. That what is going to be effect? Would there be any effect on national income? So there are two views to this. The, uh, the classical economics argues that there is not going to be effect. That since government injects hundred dollar and takes away hundred dollar in the name of tax, there, there won't be any effect on the national economy. The national economy will not change at all. But uh, the National School of Thought argues that there is going to be effect, that the effect is going to be one, that is, if government ingests some amount of money and takes away that amount, that particular amount of money in form of tax, that there is still going to be effect on national income, and that effect on national income, that is GDP, is going to be, is going to be one, that is, the multiplier is going to be one, meaning that that amount will multiply itself one time. It means if hundred dollar is injected and also withdrawn, withdrawn rather, there is going to be increase in national income by hundred dollar. So how do they do that? They combine the effect because we are looking at contraction and the and the expansion here. Contraction in the name of uh, tax because when you take away money from the economy, it's going to come to that is going to be contraction. And when you inject, that's going to be expansion. Now, we are looking at the effect of the two now, the effect of the spending and the effect of the, uh, the effect of the tax, which is withdrawal. So they have it together gives us one. So this is what they do. They, they, they look for the multiplier, change the Y, change the G, multiplier of the government. We've done this in our, in our uh, uh, previous videos. That is how to find uh, derivative of multiplier so you can go back and check that so if you want to find the, the multiplier of increase in government expenditure or government expenditure is going to be a uh, one over one minus b one over one minus b and the multiplier of tax is going to be a uh, multiplier of tax change in y which is change in t is going to be one uh, b minus b over one minus b and what they do now is they have the multiplier of the injection plus the multiplier of the withdrawal, that is multiplier of the government's expenditure plus the multiplier of the tax. They had it together, the answer is going to give us one, if it is. Let's quickly do that now. So we are going to be having, uh, we want to find the effects now. We are going to be having of uh, one over one minus B, that is for the tax, and that is for the expenditure, government expenditure plus minus b over one minus b. you don't have to put brackets so that i won't make mistake of sign so here if i'll be doing this now i'm going to be having i'm going to be having one over one minus b plus times minus is going to be minus b over one minus b and my final answer will be i need to find the lcf if i find the answer one minus b so one minus one minus b in one minus b that's going to be one, one times one that's going to be one minus one minus b one minus b that's going to be one. That's going to be one, rather one times minus one is going to be minus one. Um, am I right? It's going to be times b. It's going to be minus b. You get it? One minus b in one minus is going to be one times minus is going to be minus b. So one can cancel out this. Minus can cancel out minus. B can cancel out this. They're going to be having one left here. One left is going to be one over one. So our final answer is one. So it means that. The multiplier effect of balanced budget when the, 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 the injection equals to withdrawal is going to be one. So that is why when you have, so the change in income here can be one. So when you have the two effects together, it will not be zero. Because if it is zero, it means nothing is happening in the economy. But when it is one, so it means that there is there is, you know, an effect, and that is one. So it means if we have introduced hundred dollar into the economy now, and we also remove hundred dollar from that economy in the name of tax, the effect is going to be that hundred dollar multiplied by one. So we are going to have increase of one uh, for that hundred dollar. So if you have two hundred dollar before in the economy, then plus the new the, the increase now is going to be three hundred dollar in the economy. So let's quickly look at this now. Let, let's assume that. 
Let's let me rub up this. Let's assume that we have our marginal offense to consume is 0 0.7. Let's say our B is 0 0.7. Our B and the injection, uh, the, the, the injection is hundred dollar. The injection government expenditure is hundred dollar. Government expenditure is hundred dollar. Hundred dollar. Hundred dollar. Hundred dollar. And also tax is also hundred dollar. Hundred dollar. Now, so what is going to happen now? Government injected hundred and also withdraws hundred dollar. So what is going to what's going to be it's going to be it's going to be an effect any on the economy. So we can simply say that that our change in income, change in income equals change in government expenditure with respect to change. Sorry, yes, that is going to be or uh, change in let's say one change in government expenditure uh, one minus b one minus b. Then plus are you getting what I'm doing? Plus I'm using the formula that combined the addition of the two effects plus change in this minus b here. Uh, let's say this minus b over one minus b times change in tax. Change in tax. So what do we do? So we have our change in income to be 1 over 1 minus b, which is 0 0.7 times change in g plus times minus minus is going to be our 0 0.7 over 1 minus 0 0.7 times change in tax. Change in tax. So we are going to be having change here is going to be 1 over 0 0.3 times change in G minus uh, this is going to be 0 0.7 over 0 0.3 0 0.3 times change in tax. Now, then we have change in income equals 1 divided by 0 0.3 that will be uh, that will be 3 3.3 times change in government expenditure minus minus 0 0.7 divided by 0 0.3 0 0.7 divided by 0 0.3 that is going to give us uh, 0. That is going to give us 0 0.7 that will be 7 over 10 divided by 3 over 10 that will be 7 over 10 times 10 over 3 that will be 7 over 3 that will be 7 over 3, that will be 7 over 3 times change in tax. So change in Y equals 3.3 times change in government expenditure is 100. 100. Minus 7 over 3 times change in tax is also 100. So this will give us change in income here is going to be 3.3 times 100. That is going to be, um, that is going to be, 33, 33 minus minus 7.7 7 over 3 times 100. That's 33 times 100. That's going to be, uh, am I right? 3, 3, 3, 1, 2. Sorry. That's going to be 1, 2. That's going to be, that's going to be 330, 330. Then this one is going to be 2.3 times 100. 2.7 by 3 is 2.3. 2.3 times 100. Let me just do it direct. It's going to give us 230. So our change in income is going to be 100. Our change in income is going to be 100. So we can see what we have done here. That the multiplier effect, the, the, the change in when there is change in government expenditure, you see, change in government expenditure increase by 100. And tax. Taken away from the economy by 100, there is still going to be increase in the economy, which is 100 dollar. The amount injected and withdrawal is going to be the the increase in the economy. Thank you. Please subscribe and you know 
you know, share more of our video. What we are just trying to say in a simple way is that when you are talking about balance budget multiplier, you are talking about a situation whereby government increases tax and as well, you know, uh, increases government expenditure by the amount of the tax increased. And what is going to happen on the national income is that the national income will increase, in quotes, will increase by the amount injected into the economy. Please subscribe and get more of our video. Thank you.